Okay, so this is um, one where there's been a case quite recently um, where HMRC were arguing against um, a, a client um, and went to tribunal um, and, and the business um, in this case um, won. It's quite unusual um, in that most people think of there's not much difference between VAT for exempt supplies and zero rated supplies and as a, as a buyer there isn't you're not charged VAT but it makes it's very important for the business making that sale um, whether it is exempt um, or zero rated because it makes a difference to whether they can claim their VAT back or not and if you've got significant cost base with VAT on it it can make a, a lot of difference in, in whether you can actually claim back your your VAT on your purchases So what, in this particular scenario, um, it was a um, provider of private uh, non-emergency ambulance, non-emergency patient transport services. So obviously emergency ambulances is, is one field, but there's a, there's a big area of people, of businesses providing uh, non-emergency transport for patients to visit hospital appointments, um, perhaps transferring between hospitals, etc. Um, and these obviously require specialist vehicles in, in their own right. Um, and this is a very unusual aspect of VAT because usually VAT um, falls into, or different types of sales supply fall into one area or another. This actually fell into two different areas and that was how this case came about. Um, the transport of patients falls within the broader exemption from VAT for healthcare services and, and exemption means the supplier can't claim back the VAT on their costs. But in this scenario, they were the business argued that yes, we're making an exempt supply, but we're also making a supply that falls within zero rating of passenger transport services. And zero rating would mean that they could claim back the VAT that they incurred on the costs of maintaining the vehicles, buying the vehicles, all those sorts of things. And the tribunal agreed with them and said, yes, and it's a bit of a there's a bit of a nuance in the um, the provisions for zero rating because the default is public transport or passenger transport within a vehicle that is capable of carrying ten or more people. These vehicles weren't, but there is a there is a follow-on from that um, where a vehicle would be capable of carrying ten people, but it's been adapted to carry wheelchair users, which obviously involves removing seats fitting fixing points so you can secure your wheelchairs in place etc um, means the number of people you can carry is fewer and these uh, ambulance vehicles fell within um, fell within that definition and the tribunal agreed and said yes it may be exempt but it's also zero rated you're allowed to treat it as zero rated you can claim back the VAT on your on your costs you should be going back um, look at considering your vehicles. Look, getting getting advice related to this this case because there's, it was a very lengthy decision, quite quite a well well written um, decision that went went through a lot of the detail. Um, considering the types of vehicles that you're running, um, do they fall within this sort of category? Um, in 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 the given case, you know, it was a number of very typical um, large manufacturer vehicles that. Um, can be used for a number of different uses. You know, you've got a, a base vehicle that could be a van, could be a minibus, um, could be adapted as, the, as these were um, for sort of patient transport. If your vehicles fall into these sorts of categories and, and a typical use for it, if you hadn't adapted it for wheelchair carrying, um, was that it would be able to carry 10 or more passengers in its sort of minibus variant, um, then you should be considering making a claim um, and the usual time limits for making claims that go, go back four years um, and, and claim VAT back that, um, that you've not previously claimed for four years. 